March is National Social Worker Month and a time to recognize the dedicated people who work to improve the lives of others. And many of those dedicated people work with families and children at Franklin County Children's Services, dealing with issues like child abuse and neglect, disabilities, alcohol and substance abuse. Joining me from Franklin County Children's Services is Greg Arnold and Adoption Supervisor Tony Cochlearius, Intake Screen Supervisor. And welcome to both of you. Thank, Thank you. you, Gail, for and, having And us. my hat's off to both of you for mm -hmm. what you do. Um, there's a lot of what you do that you don't get recognized for, Greg, and then you work with the, both of you work with the families in need that um, would be forgotten if it weren't for people like you, so we thank you all. For people who aren't quite sure what social workers do, um, Greg, can you sort of explain in an umbrella term what social work means? Well, social work provides services for families in need. Uh, we provide um, protection, care for children, uh, try to find community resources for families to uh, overcome some obstacles that they've had. Um, and they're, you know, we're people who just help out to try to mend some fences in families and those kinds of things. And, and it's rough and it's not easy to do and I know sometimes your heart can get in the way too, Tony, because you're thinking and working with some of these families and it's very personal issues. It is very personal and right now there's a lot of discussion about secondary trauma that social workers face because of some of the things that they hear and what's going on. A lot of us wake up in the middle of the night wondering if we made the right decision on the child or I call it the social worker cycle where you do very well for a period of time and then it seems like it all builds up and then you've ha you have those crying moments but we do it for the families, we do it for the kids and uh, I appreciate working um, where I work and I value the families that we work with and I, I have learned from them. But you also have to see the results of what you do, the good side on those days when you feel like, did I make the right decision or your heart goes out to children or families and then you see some of the good that helps from the work that you do and I would bet, Greg, that that has to be uplifting. Yes, um, you know, when you see as a family come in at one point and you're able to see the journey that they take through in adoptions, um, you know, we have kids come through and um, trying to find when we find the right family to fit them with and then you go through all the processes and go to the celebration happens at probate court you know when you can go in and this family comes together and you know they give the child a gavel and you know say that they're adopted now and that means a whole lot you can see through that whole process it doesn't happen smoothly sometimes but you know the reward is at the end when you can see you know that that child smiling and saying that they have a for, forever family. And their rewards are the same for you, Tony? Yes, they are. Um, and when you get that call from a child that you worked with years ago, and they say, you know what, I, you thought I wasn't listening to you, but I really was listening to you and what you had to say, and thank you for being there. And even the parents that I've worked with that you know call and say thank you for the job that we do. Well, why did you both decide to become a social worker? Because you know, the pay isn't that great. I mean, in, in many respects, there are many more well-paying careers that you could have chosen. The hours aren't exactly great. There's little recognition and thank you. Greg, why'd you want to do it? Well, you know, I believe that this profession really chose me. Um, I was raised in a family where, uh, with Christian values that talked about helping other people, et cetera. I saw that you know, going on. My grandmother who raised me and my brothers um, was actually doing social work without having a social work license. She t took people in, she helped, she cooked for folks, did all kinds of well, things. That is a great so analogy. It was, nat it was natural. Yeah, um, but you, you know, just to took to that step. That. Right. Mm -hmm. Tony, what about you? I have to agree with Greg. I think it, uh, it chose me. I was on my way to meet with my college counselor at second year in after college and didn't know what I wanted to do and chose uh, sociology and got a job with children's services and I never uh, regret that decision. You've never looked back. <laughs> no, I never looked back. <laughs> well, once again, thank you both for representing all the social workers, not just at Franklin County Children's Services, but all the social workers who help families and children everywhere. And thank you again for the work that you do right here in our county. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you very much. Us.